Hi everyone, my name is Bettina, and I'm going to share a theory I have for Stephen Bomb 3, Week of Sardonyx, which will be coming out really soon, if it hasn't already by the time you watch this video. Firstly, for the purposes of this video, I'm going to assume that Sardonyx will be a new gem character introduced in the show, since Sardonyx is in fact a type of gem, a very pretty one I might add. This gem shares the stripes and colors of the Sardonyx lettering in the promotional picture the Crooniverse released. Obviously, we won't know whether she's a friend or a foe until we see what happens, but we can at least guess where she might come from or how she will be revealed. Before we talk about Sardonyx, we need to talk about Jasper, the biggest and most threatening villain Steven Universe has served up thus far. I say thus far because even though she's plenty mean, I'm sure there might be some gem out there who is more evil than even her, like Homeworld's political leaders, the Diamond Authority, or whatever you want to call them. Not only that, but she might go through a sympathetic character arc in this week of Sardonyx. I recently watched Interracial Gaming with Robin Raich's channel, which has a video about Jasper possibly being a fusion. You guys should really go check it out, because it makes a lot of really strong, solid points that made me see Jasper in a whole new way. This theory convinced me that Jasper is, in fact, a forced fusion experiment from Homeworld. To quickly paraphrase the theory, here's a few things to take into account. 1. Jasper's size. Fusions are often larger than the sum of their gem parts, and other gems in general, and she's even bigger than Garnet, who's a fusion all the time. 2. Her eyes. Regular gems have solid pupils, while fusions often have colored irises and pupils. 3. The strange reddish-orange coloring of her skin, mixed together like the gems in the kindergarten. All the gems shown up till now have had solid skin. 4. The fact that there are six arms on Malachite, the fusion of Jasper and Lapis Lazuli. A hint that there is another gem sharing Malachite's body. 5. The name Malachite. The suffix ite seems to describe a fusion that has more than two gems in it, like Sugalite and Alexandrite. It really makes sense to me that Jasper is actually a force fusion gem that works, unlike the big fallen gem cluster. Yeah, she claims that fusion is lame and everything when she fights Garnet in Jailbreak, but it's possible that she doesn't even know she's a fusion. Like Garnet said, if you're fused for long enough, you forget that you are ever alone. Perhaps she was born fused and doesn't know any better. This is where Sardonyx comes in. It's possible that Sardonyx is one of the gems that make up Jasper, since they share that coloring in the promotional picture. At this point, I'd be more surprised if Jasper wasn't a fusion, or if Sardonyx didn't relate in at least some way to Jasper, given the attention she got in the last episode of Steven Bomb 2. There's no knowing what the other part of Jasper would be, but it would be very interesting to meet this gem as well as Sardonyx. So, will Sardonyx be on the side of the Crystal Gems, or the side of Homeworld? Essentially, the good side and the bad side. Well, we don't know enough about what Homeworld is really like, so maybe it's unfair to generalize and say that all Homeworld Gems are evil. We've just had Jasper and Peridot as examples of Homeworld Gems. Lapis, too, although she was trapped in that mirror for thousands of years, so Homeworld is probably nothing like she remembers it. But anyway, will Sardonyx help or hinder Steven and his friends? Well, I guess we'll just have to see the week of Sardonyx to find out. I could speculate how everything will turn out and what the characters will do and how they'll feel, but I'm sure the Steven Bomb has its own ideas and would probably blow up in my headcanon's face. So suffice it to say that Jasper is very likely a gem fusion and that Sardonyx is probably closely involved with Jasper. So that about wraps it up. I really appreciate you sitting through all my rambling and hope you enjoyed watching this video and hearing this theory. If you have any theories of your own, feel free to share them with me in the comments. Bettina out.